Okay. Okay, now we're, um, we've got a good roaring fire there. That's come along nicely. Um, water is nicely up in the gauges still. And we can see on the pressure gauge, we're currently at 80. Um, and we have to take it up at least to 90 before we do anything else to make sure that the safety valves are working. If they don't work, we've got to look at why they're not working. If we can't fix them straight away, we have to drop everything and cool it down. We cannot risk going above the safety margin. And here they are, they're just starting to leak just as it's coming up to the 90, so that's perfect. Looking at the pressure gauge, bang on 90, exactly where it should be, and it's not going above it, even though we've still got a roaring fire. So safety valves, both of them are working, so doing exactly what they should do. So all we're doing now is wasting steam. So we cut the blower right down. We can now put some water into the uh, boiler, which will cool it down a little bit. So, we turn the water on, open the steam valve, and then close the water off slightly. And now the injector is picking water up from the flow and pushing it into the boiler which is what's quietening down the safety valves because the pressure is being dropped very slightly by the addition of cold water. So we just turn the steam off again, close the water valve. We just have a little bit on the blower, just so the fire keeps burning, but there's no point in making it raw now because it's up to pressure and we've got plenty of heat and it won't take long for us to um, pull that fire back. So before we move off, we just give the fire a little bit of a, a poke and a rake and in fact you can see the fire dropped quite dramatically and that's because of all the timber that we had in it, um, seems to stay as um, charred wood at the bottom and can actually give you air gaps. So the fire's dropped quite a bit, so we can afford to top that up with coal. And the art is always to try and get the coal evenly around so it, it covers the whole fire. On a full size one, um, anybody that's been lucky enough to have a, um, a drive of a, of a full size one, first job you have to do is fireman and you get instructions like six shovel falls to the left, six shovel falls down the middle, six shovel falls to the right, six at the back, six at the front. And by that time you're so worn out, you're not really enjoying your ride. But that's all about putting a volume of coal in and across the fire. So it all takes the heat. And that's exactly what we've got there. So the engine's at pressure. We've got a decent fire, we've got plenty of water. We can now look at moving the engine. Now, what we've got to be very careful of is that the cylinders, even though they may feel warm to touch, will actually be cold as far as the steam is concerned. So, when we start moving it, we have to open the drain cocks, and that's to allow water to escape um, while the steam is pushing the pistons across. So 
If you look to the cylinders now, you can see that we've actually got water squirting out of the pipe. Some of it is just oily water coming out, and that's where the um, oil has settled in the cylinders and is being driven through nicely. And until that water goes, you really can't do any driving with it because you're running the risk of. Uh, so we have to throw the water out. 